Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. As you can tell by the title, today we're going to be doing another makeup stash video. I haven't done one of these in so, so long, so I decided to sit down today and film one of these videos. So today we're going to be going through my liquid lipsticks. I haven't done this video yet in my little series. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with this series on my channel, it's where I take a part of my makeup collection and share it with you guys. So I've done foundations, concealers, highlighters, blushes, you know, just different categories of my makeup collection. Um, and I decided to film my liquid lipsticks. Once I'm kind of done with the series and once you guys kind of are done with letting me know what you want to see next in the series, I will be filming a makeup collection video like of all my makeup. So let me know what you guys want to see next in the series and if you don't, then I will be sure to film the makeup collection video. But without further ado, let's get into my liquid lipsticks. So let me know what you guys want to see next in this series and if you don't then I will be sure to film the makeup collection video But without further ado, let's get into my liquid lipsticks So this is the drawer where I keep like the majority of my lip products I've already gone through the lipsticks in this drawer and then this section right here is all liquid lipsticks So that's what we're gonna be diving into today. So we're gonna go through this little Container right here, and then we're gonna go through the liquid lipsticks that I have like more uh, collections of like more from one brand so the first liquid lipsticks I have are from Revlon and these are the Revlon Ultra HD matte lip colors now these aren't like your uh, traditional liquid lipstick where it dries down matte and it's transfer proof this is more like a liquidified lipstick so it has that like mousse texture to it so I have two shades of these Revlon uh, lip colors right here this one is in the shade seduction and it's just a nude color and then this one is Addiction and it's like a very deep shade. I love this shade as well. You can see them right there. They do have like that glossy look to them. But they're not my favorite lip products ever, but I do enjoy them when I am wearing them. A similar product to those would be the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paints. Now I do have five shades in these and I did do a full video reviewing these products. Um, these again are that liquefied lipstick, so they have that glossy feel to them, but they are very, very pigmented and very, very saturated in color. Um, I will go through the shades I have. I have Spicy Blush. This is probably my favorite shade uh, out of the ones I own, just because it's such a wearable nude shade. And then I have another nude. This is in the shade Nude Star. It's just a little deeper than, uh, the one above it. And then we have this cool tone shade. This is in the shade Topless. And this is a very cool tone shade. Like if you love cool tone taupe lip colors, this is the one for you. It has those purpley mauve undertones. So, so pretty. Definitely a more unique shade. And then I have two deeper shades right here. This one is Sultry Sangria. Just your typical like burgundy uh, vampy shade. And then the last shade I own is this purple in the shade Violet Twist. And um, again, another unique shade. But you can see from these swatches how pigmented these lip colors are and they do have that glossy look to them. If you're looking for a very moisturizing, really pigmented lip color, these infallible ones from L'Oreal are definitely the way to go. I really, really enjoy these and they're definitely, definitely great products. All right, I have one more of those like moussey type lip products and this is the Essence XXL Long Lasting Lip Gloss, but this is their Velvet Matte Lip Gloss. So um, it is that like liquefied lipstick form because it does have like that moussey velvet matte to it. That is it right there. Um, this I'm not the biggest fan of. I feel like it wears off super, super fast. Like it doesn't last long on the lips. The color is absolutely gorgeous, but I just don't get enough wear out of it, you know? Um, I don't like how it clumps up and it just breaks down in a couple of hours. So this is not my favorite product ever, but the regular glosses from Essence are so good. Okay, another liquid lipstick that I'm not the biggest fan of, so I'll just mention it now to get it out of the way, would be the... Uh, NYC Smooch Proof Liquid S Lip Stains, and I have three shades right here. This like um, magenta, this like uh, mauve, and this bright orange. I'm not gonna swatch these because these stain so, so badly. Like literally, even if I just swatch them and take them off right away, these just stain. These are not good products at all. They are very um, inconsistent in formula, very patchy, and I'm just not a fan of these 
products, so I would not recommend them to you guys. All right, let's move on to something I do love. These are the ColourPop liquid lipsticks. I have two different formulas right here. Uh, these two are the Ultra Matte Lips, so these do dry down and are transfer proof. And then this is the Ultra Satin Lip, so this one does transfer. It's not a full-on like liquid lipstick. Um, but these are all from ColourPop. This one right here is in the shade Trap. It's probably my favorite out of all the ones I own because it's just a cool tone nude and it goes with so many different looks and it's gorgeous on the lips. Very beautiful formula as well. Then I have Lumiere 2 and this is actually in collaboration with Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. This is a very beautiful mauve deep shade as well on the cool uh, tone side as well, but I love this one paired with like very, very dramatic eyes. This is beautiful. And then the last shade I own is Marshmallow and this is from their Ultra Satin Lip Collection. And this is a very interesting shade. It's like a muted uh, cool tone purple. Look at that right there. Such an interesting shade and I love it. Um, the ColourPop formulas are amazing. I do prefer the satin lips just because they're a little more comfortable on the lips. The matte ones can be a little bit drying, but I just put on a lip balm underneath and I'm fine. So I do enjoy the formula. All right, I have this one from NYX right here and this is the NYX Lingerie uh, Liquid Lipstick and this one is in the shade Satin Ribbon. This is a very light shade right here, but I do enjoy it. There it is right there. This is beautiful paired with very, very dramatic eyes. I love this. The formula on it is not my absolute favorite. I do find it a little bit drying, but um, again, using a good lip balm underneath does make this wear longer and look better on the lips and doesn't make it look cracked or anything. Um, I do like it more for the shade rather than the formula. It's not my favorite formula-wise, but it's still a pretty good liquid lipstick from the drugstore, I must say. And then I have this Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Napa Valley. This is actually such an interesting liquid lipstick. Um, it's a purple with like gold shimmer in it. Look at that right there. It's so, so pretty. I love this color. Um, this again does not dry down completely matte. It's kind of a semi between like that velvet mousse formula and a liquid lipstick that is transfer proof. It's right in between. I do really like it. It's long wearing. Formula's great, looks great on the lips. Um, excellent formula from Ofra right here. All right, then I have my liquid lipsticks from Wet n Wild here, so I will go through the shades I own. These two right here were limited edition shades from last year. They came out with these and two other ones, but I still love them. They have very, very similar shades to these in their new catsuit collection. Um, so you definitely can find like a red and a magenta like this in their new collection, but these are just older uh, shades just for reference so you guys no, this one right here is in the shade How Fleek Is Your Love. This is honestly my favorite like red liquid lipstick ever. Look at how pigmented, how bold that is. It's so, so beautiful. And then this one right here is uh, Too Too Love To Quit. And this is a bright, bright magenta. That's it right there, so gorgeous. The formula on these is literally one of the best liquid lipstick formulas I've ever tried. So long wearing, don't look cracked on the lips. I absolutely am obsessed with these. And then from their like regular uh, line, I have these two and these are the liquid cat suits. So these ones are their, so these ones right here are their permanent line of liquid lipsticks. And as I said, you can definitely find a red and magenta within this line, I just have none in my collection, but these two right here are some of their newer shades. Um, this is Nudie Patootie, and it's a very, very light, cool tone nude. So if you're into these types of colors, this is definitely one to go for, because the formula is amazing. And then this one's probably one of my favorite colors, just because it's that perfect mauve tone liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade Rebel Rose. Such a gorgeous liquid lipstick shade. That's it right there, amazing. And I feel like this would look good on like every single skin tone. So this is one of my favorites. And then the last two I have are actually limited edition for the uh, like season, like for the Halloween season. These came out with their Fantasy Makers line, but they are called their liquid cat suits still. Um, they are just limited edition shades. So this one right here is in the shade Emerald City and it's this beautiful emerald green shade that has like some iridescent blue tones in it. That's it right there. So, so pretty. If you're looking for a emerald liquid lipstick, this is definitely one to go to because the formula is on point. And then this one is in the shade Boo Blue. And this is a very interesting shade. I haven't seen many 
blues like this sky blue and vibrant most blues I feel like are that deep navy but um, these are definitely colors to check out if you're looking for more interesting shades at the drugstore because the formula is really great all right now I have this liquid lipstick from uh, tattoo junkie this is their lip paint um, it's a long-lasting liquid lipstick in the shade pucker up and this is a red color that's it right there very very pigmented I love this liquid lipstick I wear it all the time because it's one of my favorites this does come with a glitter that you can kind of layer on top I did do a full video on this that I can link down below for you guys because it is meant to be used with the glitter um, and the glitter actually does not transfer it's honestly one of the coolest like lip products I've ever tried but I also do wear it a lot alone just the liquid lipstick itself because the formula is amazing next in my liquid lipstick collection I have these right here now these are actually all by the brand Mariposa um, they are their matte long-lasting lip gloss even though they're called a lip gloss on the packaging these are all transfer proof they are locked in like transfer proof liquid lipsticks and I have all these shades right here I did do a video on these liquid lipsticks which I'll link down below and I'm not gonna go through all those shades because they actually do not have shade names on them it's so so bizarre I did actually uh, find these at the dollar store. Um, I have this like dollar store find series on my channel. And these were like one of the items that was like such a hit that I found at the dollar store. Um, so these are really, really amazing liquid lipsticks. A little bit drying, but again, you know, you have to use a lip balm. Um, really with any liquid lipstick, you're gonna experience some sort of dryness, but these are really amazing, especially for the price. I will link that video down below, like my review and everything and me lip swatching all the shades if you guys are interested in hearing more about these, but yes, I have these. So then I have another collection of liquid lipsticks and these are from Milani. Now these are their metallic liquid lipsticks. I also have a bunch of their like Amore matte, like regular liquid lipsticks, which I will go through, um, just in a minute, but these are the metallic ones. I will go through the shades and swatch them. If you guys want to see a lip swatch video on these, uh, like the full collection I own, and then also on the Amore matte ones, I will do that. Just let me know in the comments. But let me just swatch the shades real quick. This one is Chromatic Addict, shade 01. This one is gorgeous. If you're looking for a metallic nude, this is your your color um, again these do dry down matte and they are transfer proof but they keep this metallic look to them so if you want something super long lasting transfer proof everything but still has that like shiny look to it these are definitely something to go for they're very very interesting in formula and I've used these on the eyes too like they're amazing this one right here is in the shade uh, prismatic touch just a nice peachy nude right there then we have um, over dramatic and this is more of a pink. This is a uh, cinematic kiss, just a nice like pink shade. Really beautiful. This has some gold undertones to it, so gorgeous. Then this one right here is a red, and this is Matley in Love. This one is gorgeous. Next we have um, Making Me Matte. And this is a brown, like a bronze brown shade. And then we have um, Pretty Problematic. You can see kind of a trend in the names here. And this is more of a deep burgundy shade. Really, really gorgeous once again. And then the last shade I own is um, the Ultimate. And this is more of a maroon this is probably one of my favorites in the collection just because it's so pretty. It has these purple undertones to it, so it's gorgeous. And again, you can also use these like on the eyes if you want a very, very budge-proof uh, like eyeshadow. Um, that's metallic. So then I have my uh, Amore Matte Liquid Lipsticks from Milani. And these are, you know, very similar in formula. Just they are completely matte, so there's no metallic look to them. So I'll go through these shades as well. Um, I have the shade 29 Sweetie. I'm just gonna swatch them over here. This is probably my favorite shade out of the collection. It's just such a wearable nude. It's not too warm, it's not too cool tone. This is gorgeous. This is in the shade Adorable. Now this is a little more cool tone and a little lighter in the shade, but it's also such a beautiful wearable color. This one right here is actually the shade I'm wearing today, and this is in the shade uh, Precious, and this is more of a pink tone color, like pink tone mauve color right there. 
this one right here is pretty and this is again a lighter uh, nude shade it's just a little more pink than um, cool toned this one right here is in the shade loved and it's a deeper nude shade as you can see you get a huge color selection and I only have a fraction of the shades they offer like literally they offer so many if you go on their website there's just so many shades to choose from this one right here is more of a like brown um warm tone brown shade I do like it it's in the shade Cobbit very nice um especially in this time of year if you're looking for a brown shade like this it's definitely a winner and then we have our deeper shades I have Obsession this is more of that purpley purpley type shade and this one is Devotion which is a little more like red brick toned than Obsession, but you can see that difference in them right there. I have to admit that these Milani liquid lipsticks, the metallic and the mattes, are my favorite formula of all time. Out of all the liquid lipsticks I've tried, these are my favorite formula. I'm wearing one right now. They are transfer proof. Um, they wear the longest. They are the most comfortable, the least drying, and they just are the most pigmented in my opinion. So these as well as the metallic ones are my favorite. I do tend to wear the regular Amore and matte ones more because I find them a little more wearable than the metallic but the but both of them have an exquisite formula so I highly recommend them so that is it guys for my liquid lipstick collection these are all the liquid lipsticks I own in my makeup collection I'm definitely a big fan of liquid lipsticks I love um, a lip color that can wear a very very long time and liquid lipsticks are definitely one of those items so I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup stash video let me know what you want to see next in this series and thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye guys